when you're calling it a sharp nine, it's because you're sharping the ninth note, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. It just sounds scary. It sounds mad. Sharp nine. Ow. Oh. So, um, yeah, we are going to check out Big Bill's Hey Hey today. Man, this is a good tune. It is such a good tune. Um, it's just got this thing about it. You know, he's using some really out of the box stuff. You just don't hear every country blues musician doing doing the stuff Big Bill was doing. God, this is a good tune. So I am excited to just kind of get get right into it. Let's start real quick with um, just this first chord that that uh, that he's making use of. It's just a little cool two finger E7. It's got this little groove. I got this uh, long A, so I call it. <laughs> oh, okay. This one's not so bad. Just a B7 to B long long A form, right? With an A in the bass. <laughs> like this. So we've got and then this turnaround. Awesome. You know, people would probably tell you to be careful about hitting the A string, and they probably have good reason to say that, but I wouldn't say that myself because he wasn't. He wasn't careful about doing that. He was hitting his A string all the time, so let's check out a little video. thumbs hitting both strings. Now listen carefully for this note. Who can get away with that? <laughs> That's amazing. So, not to get right into too much theory, but usually you don't do that. You don't you don't usually put the fourth in the bass of your major chord. It's just like kind of a confusing harmonic equation. So why does this work? First, it's just subtle. He's not like banging on the A string, right? He's just kind of thumping it with his E string. So your ear doesn't fully process it as an A, more just as like a low frequency. The other reason though is he drones on it on all the chords. He's playing his A over B7. It's clear to see that and hear it. And then he's playing his A over A7. That's that's in the normal category. That's the first time. <laughs> that's the first time we hit the normal category. No. Let's let's just check out another version um, and see if he does it or if that was like maybe just a bad day. Bad Have you seen this video by the way? This movie. It is so cool. I'll I'll put leave a link below if you haven't seen this one. Right there. 
vibe, man. It's, it's just, it's a total vibe. Just as an A droning through the whole thing. Why not? All right, let's talk about this B part. Oh, it's so good. First off, we got these slides. Don't overlook these slides. Don't overlook that. Okay, this chord. Do you know about Foxy Lady? We call that a sharp nine chord in in uh, Smartville. He's kind of doing that, but he's taking that one step further. So, second finger up the string. Trade places with your pinky, your third finger, you can reach it. And then reach that pinky all the way up to the ninth fret. That's adding the 13th. He's using a sharp nine add 13 chord in his country blues song. Would we call it a sharp nine? I've never heard of another country blues song with a sharp nine chord in it. Um, and that's right, you haven't, because Big Bill's amazing that way. So you've got this all. Right, that was a slide from the 12 down to A. <laughs> it does. up to that E chord. Slide up to B. No more slides, just licks. Real quick, without scaring away anybody here, the reason you call it a sharp nine chord to begin with is because a chord by its definition is the first, third, and fifth note of a major scale. So that's what chord equals those three things. Um, it can be more, but it can be no less. When you're calling it a sharp nine, it's because you're sharpening the ninth note, right? That's it, that's it, that's it. It just sounds scary, it sounds mad. Sharp nine, ow. Oh. You could call that a flatted third, it's a half step lower than the third. But our chord implies a third. And the thing that makes a chord major or minor is the third. So I can't call it an E major flatted third chord because that would be an E minor chord. Well then what's with all this talk about flat thirds and blue notes? So in the, in the blues idiom, you know, minor thirds, blue notes, you're, you're talking licks. You can think of it like uh, in musical terms, like uh, B flat and A sharp. Depending on what key you're in, you might call it A sharp. If you're in a different key, uh, you might call it B flat. You also just always might call it by its fret name, and that means you can only talk to guitar players, and you maybe can't even talk to them. In the case of this chord, you know, he's using a sharp nine chord grip to play blues licks with. You know, your call. Leave a little note in the comments. Thanks for coming around, sticking around, and um, we, you know, I just, it's fun for me to like dig into these records and, and show you the way these guitars did it, not the way that I do it. You can always support what I'm up to on the Patreon, and we will see you at the next one. That's Hey Hey.